everyone this video is prepared for to show you how to create a timeline chart uh, graphic from raw data so you're gonna be able to see all these examples on the course module and you're gonna be able to download this raw data from the course page to your computer all technical requirements uh, and softwares that you're gonna be using for this assignment are listed on the page please go ahead and check them make sure you have them already so i'm going to be starting from over uh, you will have this uh, the raw, raw data on the computer on the course page this is going to be excel document uh, spreadsheet that you'll be working on it and the final product is something like that so it depends on your artistic uh, perception but here here how you will be uh, working on it so i will have this raw data on this practice folder and open this up select the data from the list and make it copy getting back to the page open an excel worksheet and i type it uh, data to chart and i'm going to open this one here and copy paste paste the document here so as you can see it's not going to be clean and order so you have to work and make sure all these numbers are correct and not number format so you have to get go get this uh, box and make them number all right you're not going to be using this column so delete this one and select these two columns adjust it you see some numbers are not in order so you have to make them look like similar so clicking on this uh, option decreasing decimals and look like make, make, get a get a good looking numbers at the end uh, at the end of it so uh, even you made this change over uh, the excel sheet uh, you don't know exactly what happened to your data so you will see when you select insert button and select your chart so as it is a timeline series the data from uh illinois i share with you it is the number of murders uh last 20 years uh, from 2000 and 2019 and you're going to be selecting line chart for that so you can you can go with this recommended one if you want uh, uh, and the requirements is asking click uh, specific uh, elements for for uh, for to be successful so it should have it should uh, have um, the year on the bottom and the numbers on the side so this may work for us this not this may work for us so it's up to you you're going to be selecting the best uh, representation and let's go for this one okay i will be selecting that but when when you check the graphic you'll see number like this chart is going down that means something wrong with these numbers here okay you have to go there and make sure uh this these are not in text format so i'm gonna be typing them in numbers and seeing the change right away here so as you say see it's zero because of you can type them by your hands one by one you can copy or paste but it is the possibility that you can get some numbers from different format but you have to make sure they are representing there in the right format on your excel sheet so 2005 five says zero it's actually 770 and retype them to make sure it's all, all number formats so that sometimes this happens uh, but it's uh, you have to be careful about um, seeing them before you publish everything so 790 here so all numbers 2006 here 780 so we, we fix it so all these numbers looks normal we're good good to go so i want you work on that data you can select recommended options i will uh, ask you guys to show the numbers somewhere on the chart in years and have a good title on it representative title 
So it's up to you. There are some recommendations uh, given by the work, uh, the Excel. Uh, it's up to you to select which one you like best. The example that I shared with you was this here. But the, the problem here, the numbers are not visible, right? So you can click this one, right? And you can, let's go back, click something else, select everything. And So format data labels here, you're going to click on that. It will give you some options. So you can change the position of label by clicking on this option. So it's up there, down there. So I want it up. Okay. So this is good. Title needs to be changed. You can hybrid a representative name on it like murder numbers and then I two thousand two thousand nine something missing here it's the line here that what that means so you may you may click here and say okay I want to um so this one okay this uh, plus icon here if if you don't have legend you can add legend here okay as you can see you have you will have different options available for you so go ahead and edit legend you can get this legend somewhere else or down it's up to you and this may work so what you're going to be doing you may want to uh, change the background select something different let's see how this looks okay we can go for this one or this one yeah let's go with this and i can get this one here have this one here repeat what I did with the numbers label options above it looks better so you're going to be working on that uh, numbers that thing murder numbers So if you see something weird on that, you can play with that and update it, get rid of the number. Okay. So as you can see, the data is not covering all the years. And you see something changed here. So 2001, supposed to be 928. So I'm, I'm showing you these difficulties that you may see on your practice so you're going to be make sure that you're not giving wrong information okay so please watch what i do over and over again make sure you're representing a good looking chart so i want you i want you guys to play with this uh, label make it more visible so what you can do like you can work with the border Give a black one and a little bit better looking and you can fill the box with solid color a little bit darker blue as you can see it's going to be visible all right you can do the same here if you want but uh, let's go with the 
get another border for this one solid line black a little bit bigger so and that's it the the most important part <clears throat> here <clears throat> um, making sure all this uh, data is coming from here to this chart exactly and accurately and make sure that you have a good looking uh, <clears throat> chart that express your feelings okay <clears throat> you can play with the numbers <clears throat> and appearance as you wish it's up to you but this is <clears throat> this is something that i want you guys to try so you're gonna select the, the chart uh, control uh, c and go there create a new document chart okay open this up I want you to change uh, the layout from portrait to landscape and paste it as a picture you can you can paste this as a live document <clears throat> and when you do that anytime you change the numbers on your original data it will change here make sure you are using all the space available here and go down a little bit yeah this will work so save it that's it so what i want you at the end of at the end of day you'll be submitting all these um, files um, for me to review your work and to get the full full credit thank you